All right, so let's work on interpreting slope and y-intercept in a given situation. Um, we've got Allie. Allie received a gift card for her local coffee shop. How nice. Every time she goes to the shop, she gets a medium coffee. The graph shows the gift card balance at two points. How can Allie determine the number of medium coffees she can buy with the gift card if she does not know the original value of the card? All right, so first thing we wanna do is make sense of these ordered pairs. So our first ordered pair is two comma 19.70. If we look at our graph, we can see that the X value represents um, the number of medium cups of coffee. The Y value represents the gift card balance. What balance means is how much money is left on the card. So our first ordered pair has a two for the X. So after two cups of coffee, her remaining balance is 1970. So after buying two cups of coffee, or two coffees, let's say that, um, her balance on the gift card is nineteen dollars and seventy cents. All right, our second ordered pair is four comma fourteen forty. Same idea. What does this mean? This means that after buying four coffees, she has fourteen dollars and forty cents left on the card. So her balance is $14.40. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the slope between those two points. So slope is y2 minus y1. I'm gonna go ahead and label x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 minus y1 is gonna be 14.40 minus 19.70 over x2 minus x1, four minus two. So we have 14.4 minus 19.7. That is negative 5.3 over 4 minus 2 is 2. Um, now because we are working with decimals and dollar amounts, we will just go ahead and divide this out. And we get negative 2.65. So our slope is negative 2.65. which means that the balance on the gift card is decreasing. It's going down $2.65 every time Allie buys a medium coffee. Well, guess what? That means that a medium coffee costs All right, so we have just interpreted the slope and made sense of that. Um, now let's find the y-intercept so we can interpret the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, remember our nice little trick is we can use slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. We just found the slope. Now let's use, I just always grab the first point, and let's plug in the x and the y and solve for b. So our y value is 19.70 equals our slope is negative 2.65 times the x value from that ordered pair is 2 and then plus b and we will solve this for b. Negative 2.65 times 2 we have 1970 equals negative 5.3 plus b to solve for b let's add 5.3 to both sides Our B value, which is our y-intercept, is 25. So if I go over to the graph, if my y-intercept is 0, 5, I know that's 0, 25. So 0, 25 is right here on the graph. What does that mean? 0 is our x, so if she has bought 0 coffees, what is the balance on her card? The balance on her card is $25. So what that means is that her starting balance of the gift card was $25. 
All right, so the question is asking, how can Allie determine the number of medium coffees she can buy? Well, she has a $25 gift card. We said that the cost of a cup of coffee was $2.65, so we can just take her $25, divide it by the cost of a coffee, $2.65, and see how many she can get. If you take uh, 25 divided by 2.65, you actually get 9.4333. So she can't buy a 0.4 cup of coffee. So we're gonna round that down. She can buy nine coffees with this gift card. All right, last question. Find the x-intercept of the graph of the equation y equals negative 2.65x plus 25. What does the x-intercept mean in terms of the situation? So. We know the y-intercept. The y-intercept is given to us in slope-intercept form. If you need the x-intercept, what we do is we plug in a zero for the y and solve for x. So we have an equation. We made the y value a zero so that we can solve for the x value. So we will subtract 25 from both sides negative 25 equals negative 2.65x. Divide both sides by negative 2.65. And our x value is that same number we got up there, 9.43396, blah, blah, blah. Um, so what does that mean? What that means is when the y value is zero, when there is no money left on the card, x, the number of coffee she can buy, is 9.43396. We know that that's not a realistic number of coffees to buy. So again, we're finding she can buy nine coffees with that $25 gift card. And that x-intercept at 9.43369, when the y value is zero, that's when all the money on the card has been spent.